Hello there, Capricorn, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing good. And Capricorn, we're going to find out everything that spirit wants you to know when it comes to your current situation. Okay. Oh, I like this. we got the Ace of Wands. Okay. So you may be right now having to balance yourself. It may, it may take some type of um, ability to be flexible, but we do have some type of um, completion, a sacred beginning here. And you're getting this Ace of Wands and it's like, you know, receiving directions here for entrance into this new gateway for yourself. And you're doing it with blessings, with some type of achievement, because you are achieving something that you really want anyway. So the world card is signifying that you're being blessed with people, situations, or resources to see something through completion for you. And look at this two of pentacles here. I like this one because it's, it's, we're utilizing some type of different way of traveling here, but the two of pentacles speaks about changes. It speaks about, you know, um, things that we could be prioritizing. You know, we may be in a place of having to fluctuate with, you know, our mood <laughs> and our resources, but it's headed towards more balance in the long run. So just hang in there you know, you are receiving or you will receive whatever it is that you need. So stay in tuned and stay aware. Something is going to be available for you to grab on and to hold on to. And it could be, um, you know, something that you can nurture for, you know, a while here. So I would say you will need a lot of energy with that ace of wands, but there is some, some, something when it comes to feeling really blessed with this world card. All right. Let's see what else spirit wants you to know. Capricorn. Uh, we do have fire sign and earth sign coming through. We have my kitten Lenny here. He, this is his, this is his, um, this is his bed. <laughs> he loves to nap here. All right. Let's find out what else spirit wants you to know. Yeah. Okay. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. This is signifying seeing something, um, in a new way with the world card and the ace of wands, not in a way where it feels forced, but we have freedom. We also, um, are really in tuned with our psychic side because I am getting high priestess coming through right now. So don't give in to any self doubt because something is cycling out. I mean, we even have a, you know, bicycle or, or I don't know what those are called with a big wheel and a small wheel in the back, but anyhow, something is cycling out. So this is a temporary thing. And yeah, we could be seeing, you know, the past by, see, or excuse me, let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Ace of wands, we're seeing something for the first time with the eyes of love here. So, you know, this might bring some type of amends or forgiveness or just peace. We could be dropping a situation or a person or just something that may not be working for you. And that's okay. It's coming from a place of love. Okay, let's see. What else? <clears throat> Ooh, got the judgment card. Your angel is calling for you. So this is a time that you want to decide or don't be afraid to decide when it comes to maybe necessary changes, okay, or just remaining flexible. And that means with our attitude as well, because sometimes it can get real challenging at times with that two of pentacles to have, you know, a good attitude, right? Um, but the judgment is signifying waking up to a new life, new choices, right? Maybe a sense of some type of freedom. Cause that's the whole thing I was getting with. I let go of the shadow of the past. And here it is. You're letting go of the shadow of the past. It's not even clinging onto you in any way, shape or form. But what's happening is we're becoming available for new and improved opportunities and situations here. And I am seeing something about maybe new life, um, great fertility as well. 
So this is a time where, you know, just decide and choose to be strong and confident and courageous or beautiful or abundant or whatever words you want to put in and then just be that because this is about you waking up to a new world, right? Or a world that feels mm, more, uh, adventure, like maybe more adventurous, more, um, awake and alive. Yeah, we are stepping into some type of new world here, a sacred beginning because there's closure here with the past. What else? You know, it's like this ace of wands is from heaven here. And it's like, it's really guiding you to follow this. This is why I'm getting high priestess. It's like you're following your intuition or you're staying patient or you're pres preserving something here until we can, you know, do the next step. Capricorn, we got three of cups. So we do have a sense of harvest, a sense of having some fun. Maybe this is, you know, where we need to be too. Pay attention if you need to add a little fun into your life or it, maybe it's time to connect with friends and family, but you could also be um, getting your prayers answered when it comes to maybe some type of soul group, soul family, and feeling like a sense of reunion here. But we do have, you know, some, something that we're appreciating and we're not alone. So we got some good times here, some fun times with the three of cups because we're choosing differently. We're choosing wisely and we're choosing from a place of wisdom. Okay. What else for Capricorn? We got water sign coming through with three of cups. Okay. Page of swords. Let's get more with this page of swords. I see we got this watchful eye. I mean, look at the watchful eye. What's important for Capricorn to know about this page of swords? Okay, we could have a reunion of some type or someone coming back from the past with the six of cups and the emperor here. Someone from the past could be watching or you, you know, watching you, or you could be watching them. Um, but you know, <laughs> we got this thing about, you know, if you look they're in a coffin here, right? So there's like this resurrection here and it's like, you're calling forth soul group or soul family. And that could definitely be someone that will present themselves in a way that would be a good, um, source of, you know, a bond here or connection. Now take this also, if it resonates, especially if you have been looking into something or someone, or maybe something has been hard to let go of the past, right? We have to be in charge of a situation because the emperor is saying, don't let other things go, um, crazy here. Cause you do have to, you know, be in a place of making good decisions or being the stable one, so to speak, or getting things organized or under control. And we could be, you know, tempted here to get distracted if we're giving too much into the past or someone from the past here, right? But we could have, oh my gosh, we could have a reunion of some type here. I mean, you are seeing someone for the first time with eyes of love here. All right. So don't lose your cool or your temper for some of you Capricorns, because that, you know, you may need to just ask the right questions or just be willing to listen with new ears and, you know, maybe new eyes here. Okay. Um, yeah. Cause I feel that there, there's something strong about you also knowing, you know, your own place of power here and position. Okay. Let's see what else. Now there is something with the family I see, or <clears throat> and well, that, or something significant with a father or father healing perhaps here. What else for Capricorn? 
eight of pentacles, you may need to pay attention to your work or, you know, stay focused on the things that are progressing here. Because remember, the six of cups could pull at us here. <laughs> and we do need to stay in tuned and aware. I mean, with the page of swords, too, I don't know if I brought this up. But yeah, I feel that there's some type of communication coming in here from someone from the past. It may, it may, it may come off a little weird though, because the page of swords could be a little blunt or a lot blunt. Okay. Um, okay. So anyhow, we got the eight of pentacles also page of swords. Um, hmm. Spirit is saying right now, pay attention to more of, uh, what's working and what we're taking action on versus what could be just all talk or someone could just have been all talk in the past here that you dealt with, or maybe someone, um, that just lacks that maturity to, you know, solidify things into action from what they're saying or speaking, you know, but anyhow, I see that you're staying dedicated and focused here and committed to paying attention to those important things that you're doing. And yes, this could uh, be involving your work, your career, you know, your career business. Let's get more with this eight of pentacles here. And we're also paying attention to details. Okay, we got the five of swords. Yeah, I feel that there's something going on here. Oh, we may need to we may need to watch out for others' intentions right now, too. Hmm. Or some of you, okay. I Capricorn, I am getting this thing where, you know, maybe you are just accepting you know, some type of maybe loss or don't get too caught up in, you know, feeling bad about something that has happened here with the five of swords. But also I would say, um, be careful of any shady dealings that you, you know, that maybe just doesn't seem right or something that could just be shady or someone, because we're not going to get distracted with this. We're, we're staying focused on what's the right thing to do, okay? Um, <clears throat> but I do feel that something is going to be coming out here too. Something may be revealed here um, as well with this Five of Swords. Let's get more about that Five of Swords. Someone's putting something back here. Hmm. Nine of swords. Yeah, we may need to just let go of something that happened in the past. It, it may be affecting your work or things that you're doing here. Okay, so pay attention to quality. Do whatever you can not to get too upset or distracted by maybe the betrayal of others. Or if you have trust issues, I can see that that could be happening as well because we could be hung up about something here in the past, or we could be afraid of, you know, maybe, um, we could be afraid of something or someone here too. But I feel like this is more about the past here. <laughs> so don't let something leak into your things that you do or that you do do good at, or that you are working on, or that's working in your life. What else? Some of you really got really hurt here. Not all of you, but some of you got really hurt and betrayed by someone that maybe was around for the long term, or you thought they were going to be around for the long term here. And we've like done some type of severing of ties here, which brings about a lot of discomfort. Seven of pentacles. Okay. Assess the situation right now. Be willing to look at something with new eyes or, you know, maybe back off of something, especially if you do feel too enmeshed and just see and review where you're at right now, because this is what this judgment is too. We're in this place of reviewing 
what worked, what didn't. Um, and if it did work, do you want to keep nurturing it? Do you want to start something new? You know, we're really analyzing and figuring things out because you are becoming more skillful and advanced. And you do need to trust that things that you have planted in the past will ripen right at the right time here for a good harvest. So you could be hung up about worrying about that as well. So don't give in to that. That's unnecessary worry. That's what spirit is saying. Okay, what else for Capricorn? Now we could also be looking at a lot of past stuff like pictures, you know, that could be invoking something. Uh, good or bad when we're looking at it. So just pay attention because we are, you know, coming to this place of some kind of profound freedom and wholeness because we have achieved something that we've been working so hard for or that we've really wanted for a long time, especially with that seven of pentacles. Oh, choices. Ooh, we're having a reunion of the heart here. There is a significant... Um, choice here. <laughs> and you're going to make the best choice of your life. The one that makes your heart happy. So you do need to follow your heart Capricorn. There is a special meeting here for those that are, you know, seeking or knowing that there is some type of, um, companionship at play here because the lovers, it will bring up, um, someone that can really change your life. And we have this six of cups here. So it's like we're recognizing something within one another's soul here. Gemini's coming through with the lovers. Wow, we're waking up to some new choices, but these choices are these choices lead to making your heart really happy. What else? Two of swords. Oh my gosh. Okay. See, it's at six of cups. Something about the past here. Somehow, some way, we've got to be really in tuned with the present moment, too. You could be going back and forth with the two of swords, but there is something about your intuition here. So let's get a little bit more with the two of swords because look at that moon. You know, so you've got to follow that moon energy, you got to follow that intuitive uh, side of yourself. Let's get more with that two of swords. What's important for Capricorn to know about that two of swords? Block it out. You got to block something out or ignore something or someone here for the time being. You're going to know what it is because it's just not going to feel right. It's going to feel like it put, it keeps you in like in, in a coffin kind of, you know, or I don't know, uh, keeps you from moving on or moving on up. Okay because you do have some type of right here <laughs> and you do know what's best for you as well. So, you know, we may be, um, hitting up against some opposing energies, but that's okay. Don't let it impede your progress, but I do feel that you're blocking out the noise too. Cause look at this ballerina doing something right now to just stay in a place of poise, grace, peace, now, I'm also seeing this thing where we could be calling truce here and having a truce. If that becomes available and you feel it's the right move to make and it's going to free you in some way, then do that. Take it, right? Okay, what else? We got fire sign and, or, uh, excuse me, uh, well, we do have earth sign, but um, more air sign coming through. That chapter has ended. Oh, that chapter. And the 10 of swords is saying, thank God it's over. Really, thank God it's over. And I do see you uh, with that page of swords writing that first chapter here. Because your entrance, you know, to this gateway is the beginning. And you're coming in more advanced, uh, feeling more, um, I don't know, like more equipped, I would say. And having some type of permanent victory here, Capricorn, that will carry with you for the rest of your life. Yes, this, this, uh, did not come easy. The 10 of swords, 
But guess what's happening here? We're waking up. And it's like your angel is saying, Capricorn, if you've been waking up and feeling, you know, the call here, you're right in tune. Now, some of you Capricorns just pay attention. <laughs> there are going to be things in your environment, people, situations that it may feel like it's forcing you to move, but it's going to move you, hopefully, if you pick up on it in the direction that you're being guided to. Positive here. <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot more positive things going on than there are negatives. I know that there's a challenging thing that we do have to block out because soon the right answer will appear. The right choice will be, you know, will appear. Okay. What else? I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Wow. <laughs> We're ending something here or, you know, ending that chapter or, or allowing ourselves that freedom to move and getting closer to consciousness, that world card, you know, the lovers here, ooh, the ace of wands. Okay, let's see. And I can see that with the five of swords too, you know, um, Capricorn, because I do see some of you, you're, you know, you're going to do whatever it takes here to protect what you need to protect. And if it means, you know, that we have to battle a little bit, as long as it's not costing you or someone hurt in the long run, then it's fine. But let's see. I do whatever it takes. There's another card that wants to come out with this. And the owl's um, eyes are closed here. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. That's what you got to do. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's like, do whatever you, you're doing whatever you got to do to get closer to consciousness. And I see that too with that page of swords, um, you know, because this is all about the mind here, but you got the emperor and you got the eight of pentacles. We've got some really serious cards going on here, right? So here we go. Figure out how to make, you know, make room or have a little fun. And perhaps you're already doing that. So good for you. I mean, we're just talking about having fun, you know, great social fun awaits. So do it now if you can. You can afford it. What else? You, it's, it's what, you know, really, you, can, you cannot afford not to have fun. <laughs> and we do have uh, support here. We got the uh, Knight of Swords. Okay, you've got, some of you guys are going to have or are currently going through some type of big lifestyle change. Is this the Nine of Swords again? Okay. Hmm. I mean, we do have uh, a big change headed your way or someone. And it's from a place of authenticity, truth, clarity, maybe a sense of justice here. The final transition is what I'm getting from spirit is you're having some type of, you know, final transition here. So, you know, <laughs> I see Archangel Michael here, you know, heaven is sending angels to surround and protect you because you're blessed. This is you in the position of the star card. Here's your angel. Also giving you a lot of, um, you know, protection here, right? Armory here so that when you do uh, move, you're moving swiftly, just in time. The change is going to happen here. And we got that Nine of Swords again here. Let's get more about this uh, <clears throat> Nine of Swords. And then I want more with that Knight of Swords. See the Death card. We're putting something to an end here. Nine of Wands. Oh, it's like this, the, that, the, the sense of exhaustion, it's finally coming to an end. You know, you've been feeling exhausted here. It's the final transition. I told you, you're going through the final transition with that death card. Scorpio's coming through. Nine of Wands is fire sign. You know, all of your wounds, worries, maybe even anxiety and s night sweats, <laughs> Maybe some of you guys are trum uh, th some, there, some, there may be something about tremors or trembling here at times. It's all going to heaven. 
Heaven has got your back here. But you do have to take care of yourself. And I do feel that some of you Capricorns, you know, this is the time that you do want to make those changes, especially when it comes to keeping yourself in a place of feeling renewed, hopeful, because your spirit and your faith is so important right now because miracles are wanting to channel through you and manifest through you. But it's hard if we're feeling all wound up, you know, but some of you, you could also be, you know, changing or have change where, you know, others, you know, might be feeling, um, anxious about you from the past here. And this is why it's important to know what's your energy versus what, who's, you know, what are the other energies here? Because I do feel that you can take that on and absorb it. Okay, let's see. I was going to get a little bit more about that Knight of Swords too for Capricorn. Where's this Knight of Swords going? I'm hearing um, respect and honor is coming your way as well. Ooh, Knight of Cups. We are going to have someone here. There is definitely this adventurous energy, creative energy, you know, with yourself or yes, with someone, because we do have the uh, nights coming out. <laughs> We're feeling far more balanced, capable and able of manifesting something that is true to your heart, Capricorn, and also to another. So there's other souls involved here. You've got destiny at play. You got the lovers here. We got the three of cups, the six of cups. Other souls are at play. So, you know, you change all, or you, you're waking up to these changes and, um, continuing to wake up to some new choices because that's what destiny has you pulling to do here. All of this is going to happen in right timing. You know, this Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords is <clears throat> making final changes to maintain a sense of integrity with balance, um, with emotions and the mind, not allowing one or the other to override here. What else? Because something really creative and maybe even poetic is coming through here. Affairs of the heart, definitely with the Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, lovers. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of the highest good. I mean, that's where you are or where you're at or what you're going through here. This expansion because you're getting closer and closer to consciousness. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe not, not giving it a self doubt. We were talking about high priestess. I was picking up high priestess. What else? And this is you dedicated, loyal, right? Committed to the faith in the universe. And here it is the star card. yeah, temperance. Good. We're arriving or some of you have arrived. You just got to give yourself a little bit of patience to get used to things. Be willing to, you know, look in the eyes of another two. Okay. Cause you're forming more, um, I don't know, like more, uh, uh, I don't like saying judgments or opinions of others, but kind of so that you can, it, it's actually a benefit for you in a way because it's, it helps you understand others better. <laughs> not that you're going to utilize it and use it as a weapon or for the ego and nothing like that. But temperance is a place where we are calling in our blessings and we have arrived here. And yes, I do feel moderation is key right now, especially if you do tend to do too much. I mean, eight of pentacles, and look at the seven of pentacles. It's like, you know, we're working, taking a take, you know, take those moments or necessary breaks or maybe even more breaks, right? So that you aren't feeling that you're just, 
running yourself down or maybe not appreciating something because right now it's the review. Some of you, some of you are either going through, take it if it resonates. Some of you are going through the process of being reviewed right now for something or an exam, but also being reviewed by the universe, so to speak here. So stay as you know, neutral as you can. Don't let anything or anyone pull you maybe in too strong in one direction. You just want to just stay, I mean, you just want to be in this place of being fluid. Peace, right? It's like the end of these, this exhaustion or the wounded warrior days here. This is a card of restoration, harmony, divine consciousness in the making into something that's tangible. Sagittarius is coming through with temperance. What else? Oh, there she is. Oh, it's coming out, coming out real weird though. And this card wants to come out. High Priestess is not feeling so well though. <clears throat> she isn't so sure, right? So that's this energy that's coming off. But, you know, you may even be guided to someone here that can help you stay strong in your faith, that may give you a sneak peek into something sacred and divine for you. But also the high priestess is saying, believe in your intuition, believe in the unseen, believe in cycle, you know, seasons and cycles of life and stay patient because it's your time to receive. It's like that final transition for you to receive <clears throat> two of swords again. See, you're doing what you can to block out any extra noises. And now I know it could be difficult for some of you guys because you've got a lot of people or, um, you know, just a lot of things going on here. Stay true to yourself here. It's like stay peaceful. The more that you can be calm and be in maybe this place where you, maybe you have to be in a place of, um, well, impasse, but you know, don't hesitate to make changes right now here. Okay. Let's, I'll get a little bit more to with that two of swords here. We do have the chariot. We're following, we're following the, the path of victory here. If something or someone feels like a block, it's almost like it was necessary for the, for your path, because with a chariot, you are already ready and prepared to overcome obstacles because you know, they're going to be there. It's just like, you know, in the car, when you're going out driving, you know, you're going to hit some speed bumps, you know, you're going to hit some red lights. You're prepared for it though. Oh my gosh. My cat is Lenny. Please don't hit anything over there. Let's get more about the two of uh, swords, please, for Capricorn. <clears throat> Just ignore the self-doubt talk or maybe criticism from others or block out. Because I feel some of you um, Capricorns have heard some things from people or maybe... You know, it's like they're just trying to shove their opinions or their righteousness on you. And it's like, just ignore it and just say peace, right? Because that could be challenging to not react. <laughs> but it's like heaven brings this rescue, brings this sense of being able to travel over that. When I focus, ooh, here, this is really good. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Oh my gosh. Now look at the picture in the two of swords, right? We're not looking on the outside. We're blindfolded. So when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Don't get caught up, right? Yes, we live in a world that has ugly things, negative things, but don't get too caught up in that, right? It's all about contrast. I was going to look at something else. Oh my God. It's almost like, you know, every time you lift up the blindfold, you look and go, Oh God, no, you know, I got to protect myself, but really <clears throat> you're in the final transition. Okay. It's like you're take it. If it resonates too, it's like you're being, uh, delivered to, you know, birds of a feather flock together here. Right. 
and maybe there's a bunch of caterpillars down here and you're the butterfly. <laughs> so when I, now look at this, yeah, when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. My gosh, right? And so this inner light, the inner self. Now you do need, th this is the thing. Um, Capricorn, it could challenge some of you, but not all of you. You do, spirit is really guiding you to make decisions from your heart. But you, you're coming from a place of listening to the heart where the heart and the mind are unified, right? So when you're listening to your intuition, it's not coming from a place of being triggered. It's not an emotional roller coaster. It, it comes in in a way that's very tuned in, fluid. So you do, when, when you are up against something here, because I do feel that some of you, it's a kind of a tricky situation because it's like you do have to ignore something here, but at the same time, you can't ignore, you know, making, reassessing or um, changing something up either. But you got to listen to your heart here when it comes to that. A new direction or a new way will be made if it has not already been available some of you, it's already become available. You're just maybe freaking out about it a little bit because, or, you know, just change always, you know, gets a little uncomfortable anyways. Uh, cancer is coming through. Some of you may need to take it if it resonates. It won't for all of you, but some of you may need to, you know, there may be this thing about um, a balance of spiritual pursuits and, um, you know, physical pleasures and material pursuits and stuff like that. So I don't know, there may be something here where it's like, we may need to ignore all these other things, right? The, or like, I don't know, maybe there's something about a car here or, um, I don't know, take it if it resonates. Maybe we feel like we need to show off or stand out. I don't feel like, I don't want to say that because that makes it sound like, really bad. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you got to ignore something here. Just tune into yourself here, right? Find that place or, you know, possibly you could be using the chariot to go travel somewhere here. Oh my God. Uh, maybe there's something with camping an RV or a camper trailer or something, or right, just traveling here somewhere where you, maybe you can surrender to, um, nature, you know, and don't put that as the last thing. Put that as your priority. Okay, what else? I choose love no matter what. Oh my God. It's funny because we are. We're just in this place of choosing love. Now, if it's hard to choose love for some of you because we've been hurt really bad here, we're having a hard time with trust, maybe just choose peace for the time being and then we can work on, you know, the love. But the peace, you know, or joy, because joy, joy and gratitude will always lead you to love, okay? Just choose love. I mean, this is the whole thing about choosing, right? Waking up to new choices, you're choosing love. Don't feel like you have to be too on guard either. Remember, heaven already sent and has angels for you to do this work for you because your job is to get in a, in a place where you feel more poised, confident, because it's your birthright to feel good about who and what you are, what you're becoming. What else? There could be a dancer here or somebody that performs on stage or something like that. Maybe I'm seeing, even seeing something maybe about theater for some. Uh, just take that if it resonates. Speaking of, I don't know why I was just thinking of some drama, like drama, <laughs> like watching drama shows, but in real life. Okay, I recognize that, oh, I have chosen fear and I choose again, I choose love. I mean, this is judgment. Where, where did judgment go? There it is. You get to choose get to choose again, right? And so you're putting an end to an old way, old self, or whatever. And here we are, waking up, manifesting love again and again. And again. all right, let's see what else for Capricorn. Okay, these well, these ones want to uh, uh, like little chapter want to come out. Oh, yes. See, I told you it's your birthright. Happiness is my birthright. 
And I knew this. I knew this on your reading here. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. I was kind of talking about that. I don't know how I said it, but, you know, this is the best way to say it anyways. Oh, with the chariot, right? There's something with, you know, there's going to be obstacles, right? Just like speed bumps, red lights, you know, whatever, people. Okay, obstacles are detours in the right direction. Just focus on that. It's the right direction. And that's where you're going because happiness is your birthright. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feels, excuse me, true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. Ooh, to feel those feelings below the triggers. That's what I'm seeing you doing here with the uh, two of swords. Maybe there is a special place here, right? So that you can have the freedom to explore this because maybe something just wants to be recognized. It's when we don't recognize it or push it away that it becomes stronger and boils up inside of us or becomes a trapped emotion within ourselves. And we don't need that because that affects your frequency. That affects your happiness. So we're doing things and getting things in the right direction here. So something, some type of obstacle got you back to, you know, true healing, true a true way, true love. Yeah, joy is the ultimate creator. And here's the Ace of Wands. If you nurture this, it will create for you. And you know, that's interesting that I recognize that I've chosen fear because we have like the nine of swords coming out twice, you know, and that's, um, that's a lot of, you know, mental exhaustion too. Well, but we all have, we all go through it. It's not good or bad. It's just part of our, you know, makeup as a human being, but you are, you know, spirit having a human experience. What else? Oh my God, look at all these double cards. <laughs> oh my, okay, I feel like this card wants to show itself. Eh, okay, what in the world? <clears throat> it's like getting me all choked up. Someone may even get you all choked up here. You might, I mean, it may be something of a miracle here with some, someone or some, something. Massive healing or restoration here. Feeling a lot more stable, knowing you've arrived, knowing you, when you, ooh, your perseverance is achieving you some good goals in life. Now, if you are, if you Capricorns are out, okay, this, <laughs> not all of you, but some of you Capricorns, if you feel that you try to control too much, you, you may need to back off of that, <laughs> okay? somehow or some way you may need to just back off of that. You know, try to see if you're putting too much, you know, restriction or control on yourself or someone and see if you, if there is a way just to kind of ease off of it, just take that if it resonates, but something is being restored when it comes to stability, prosperity, maybe a partnership here. That's very important. A goal that is very important, but mo most importantly, you've arrived here in a place of, you know, this is your kingdom. I love it. What else? My fearless freedom lights up the world. This is the emperor. <laughs> the emperor knows, feels the fear, but does it anyways. He, he is a master. He or she is a master at that. And here it is. My fearless freedom lights up the world. Yes, it does. This is a star card. <laughs> This is why I feel a lot of you don't listen to the complainers or the haters or the what ifs because, you know, take it if it resonates because they like to throw out the fears out there, you know, before something happens. And God, people just stop doing that, right? Take it one step at a time, right? And I do feel that you're doing the right thing, Capricorn. What else? You're just, you're, you're in like, um, limbo between realms here. You're, you're <laughs> here is this gateway to this, whatever I was saying, but it's like, you're in between worlds right now. 
and we have victory. We have something important when it comes to attainment, being recognized for things, and being able to take those compliments, that recognition, achievements. And with the, you know, emperor showing up, the six of wands star, I mean, you know, being promoted at work or finding your place as, you know, being masterful in something in your place of work or occupation or, or whatever, your business or something maybe you do. We have good influence here is what we have. Uh, someone may even, I just, I don't know, there may be a ooh, stunner. Like I'm hearing something about you being stunning and someone is a stunner as well. <laughs> okay, what else? We got fire sign coming through with the six of wands. Oh God, seven of seven of swords here. Some kind of truth I feel is going to be revealed here or you're getting to getting the truth here. But let's get a little bit more here because the seven of swords, um, we could be in a place of having to strategize here. Now, we already talked about some shady dealings here. Hmm. So let's see why this is showing up. Let's get more about the seven of swords. Um, someone is trying to get attention as well. So don't fall for that if you feel it's um, it's going to pull you in a negative way. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Um, you know, I would just be in a place of being cautious here. Don't take any shortcuts. I just want to emphasize on that or be careful of falling for anything that maybe sounds too good to be true. Like seriously, I would just be very cautious about that. Okay. Um, but I also see someone who's prosperous here or advancing and there may be, you know, something where you make sure you're, make sure you're locking your vehicles. I, you know, this is interesting. I don't remember which zodiac sign it was. And I don't even know if it, it wasn't this week it was last week. I feel I, there was this energy here too, where we just have to take a little bit more precautions or don't just make sure you don't overlook things. I mean, it is what it is. We just live in a world where, you know, theft does exist here. Cause I don't know, there's like something where we have like a, Okay, I just, you see, they're, they're, huh. I feel that there's something that's very um, prosperous about something that you ride in or something that you have. And it's like, you know, you see those signs when you go out, um, you know, to like maybe nature parks and reserves and it says, don't leave your valuables in your car, you know, and it's like, I see you leaving a valuable there and like, ooh, someone's like looking here, you know, we got eyes here. So, hmm. Take it if it resonates. We may need to just stay, uh, try to be in a place where modesty or being humble right now may be the key, okay? It doesn't mean you have to hold yourself away from being proud of your achievements or the things that you have attained, but there will be the right time and the place and the people to share that with. But I, I just feel that you need to be cautious here when it comes to your um, possessions, Okay. And your work too, or how you're pacing yourself. Don't, don't, you don't want to do something where, you know, if something looks like it, it's a shortcut or easy, well, I don't want to say like easy cause we want to be fluid, but you know, if you feel again, something could be a little off, it most likely is. Um, huh. Can I just bring this up? I don't want to poo on someone's dream car or vehicle, but perhaps, perhaps we may not, it might not be the time to buy into a vehicle. I don't know. I just feel like, or watch for something shady with that seven of, seven of swords. Okay. Cause I do see something strong coming through about a vehicle or tr something to transport in. Uh, maybe it's an RV, a trailer. Maybe it's a sports car, a Mustang. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what else? Page of Pentacles. Okay. 
the seven of pentacles where we're reviewing things and assessing things, it's like you pick out the right pentacle from your garden here, so to speak, or it's handed to you. Some, some type of good fortune is being handed to you. So try to stay focused on the things that really give you feeling like you're being grounded more, uh, comfortable, um, taking care of yourself and uh, that it helps you to take better care of yourself. And it could be too, that we need to just focus on one or two things and maybe not too many things, but we also need to probably get going here. It's like, you know, you might've been sitting on something. So if you feel like you've been sitting on something here, um, this is the perfect time to, you know, engage with it or produce something from this. I'm hearing something about investments or savings as well. Something may come up here with that page of pentacles that gives you, you know, maybe not like a crazy large sum of something, but um, maybe something that could be significant enough that you could just sock it away too, you know, where you can start saving a little bit more and more. What else? But we have like an opportunity to have fun too with someone. <laughs> Oh gosh, I, I knew the devil card was going to come out here because <laughs> this, I feel this was all about you being in your power here, uh, feeling the freedom to explore yourself in ways that maybe some or others have an opinion about, but if it, if it's your truth and it feels right for you, then you need to do that. But something is going to put you in a place of a head start here. Now, the devil also talks about negativity. So let's get a little bit more because we do have that temperance. So let's get more about this devil here and what's important for you to know about the devil. See, I knew it. <laughs> oh my God, this is so cool. It's just so fitting because uh, there is nothing sexier than your authentic truth. And here you are. I mean, Capricorn is just associated with, you know, the devil card here, but I always see it as you being in your power. Um, you know, again, s s exploring something authentic and truth to you. Nothing is sexier than that. Goodness. we got a lot of sexiness going on here too. <laughs> so I, I do feel that we'll be exploring some great pleasures, you know, on an intimate level. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, what else? Knight of Wands. Okay, be prepared and ready to take action or someone wants to take action towards you, but you've got to be available for it, right? Stay in that, do these things that put you aligned with that happiness. Know that you're seeing something through with the goal. Now, also don't be afraid to, you know, embark on something or some of you guys could be trailblazing something here, but we do have some type of adventure here. Okay. And I would say, don't worry about whether or not you're going to have enough to see something through resources or person will show up when they need to. We could be relocating for some of you guys too. So just take that if it resonates, but most importantly with the Knight of wands, you know, he's, he's allowing the fear to actually fuel him or her it's, you know, learning how to keep it at bay. Let's get more about this Knight of Wands. But there is something, you know, passionate here with this Knight of Wands too. What do you want Capricorn to know when it comes to the Knight of Wands? Page of Pentacles again. Okay, there could be a good friendship. I mean, we definitely have some type of strong bond here. So something is going to be adventurous, fun. You know, you might find yourself focused on, you know, one or two things or one or two people here, and it could be a relationship. You know, I do see a relationship could be at the forefront of your life here or soon will be an important one. Go with it. <laughs> you could be um, receiving some type of messages and news but most importantly, I feel that you'll be receiving some type of good news and inspiration through something that you'll receive in a tangible form. What else? 
and the page of wands. See, we're at this new beginning. Okay, some of you might hesitate though. There may be some hesitation here with experiencing something where it could be uh, exciting, but maybe would, maybe it could feel risky here. Let's get more with this page of wands. Hmm. Ooh, we got the king of pentacles. Something is going to be a surefire success. Something and someone will be a success here. It's like your ideas too could really, or the things that you touch, the things that you make or create, it's like you have the Midas touch, the golden touch here with the King of Pentacles, and here you are, you know, because you took a risk or you did something, um, and I would say a risk that feels exciting, not, not like it's threatening and scaring you, okay? And it pays off well. But also, I just can't help but seeing how we've got some type of new experience and new beginning with someone here, or maybe uh, if you're already in a serious relationship, or maybe there's, you know, a sense of like uh, resurrecting something or rekindling something, a resurgence of romance or intimacy here. But knowing that something is paying off because you have the skills to see something through. Wow. <laughs> you're in a good place with the King of Pentacles and you're also attracting possibly this King of Pentacles towards you here because there is a strong sense of relationships. You know, again, there's not just your soul, but other souls involved here that are meant to line up. What else? Nope, that's it. Okay, so let's find out how a spirit is currently helping you. And then we'll finish your reading by finding out a positive that's coming towards you. Okay, strength card. Mastery. Readiness. Strength. Right? Prepared for entering your kingdom. Oh my God, we we're just talking about that. You know, the gateway to your new experience here your sacred experience, your fortunate experience. Also, spirit is helping you, you know, stay strong or maybe even um, have compassion when maybe an old self or an old way would have been lashing out, you know, so we're preserving and persevering with peace, compassion, love, forgiveness, because that does take a lot of strength, especially when we're feeling you know, like this, we're bombarded here by those other wands down there. Okay, let's find out what's a positive that's coming towards you. Something is like going to fill the ultimate here for you, Capricorn. What's coming towards you is waves of abundance is what I'm seeing. I see, you know, something very prosperous here or something that you were destined to have that makes you feel good about who and what you are, where you're at. Financial gains, rewards, something abroad here, doing something fun, but at the same time, solidifying an important attainment for you. So yes, your ships are coming in, your waves of prosperity are coming in. This is the positive, positive that you have to look forward to. Earn, you've earned your place as well. Don't question that. I hope that this was helpful. Love and light.